Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Letabo Mambana Desan, and I'm back again with another YouTube video. Thank you very much for stopping by. It means a lot to me. So if you haven't subscribed as yet, please make sure you do so right now before we can even continue with the video. And if you happen to find value in this current video, please make sure you hit the, the, the like button. It's for the YouTube algorithm. And also leave me a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you think of this video okay so in today's video what i would like us to do is to analyze AUD USD, or let, 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 let me just say to analyze to do some uh, trade breakdown of any pair so but then um what came into my mind just right now is AUD USD. so it is the pair that we're going to be looking at and um, actually it's what i've looked at before but I want us to try and analyze it together and see if we will find any opportunity to trade on this coming week. Remember today is Sunday, so we are preparing for the week ahead. So meaning that I'm going to be looking at this currency pair AUD USD right now to see if we, um, there will be any opportunities to be traded from starting from 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 tomorrow as of Monday until Friday. So we will see if we will be able to trade anything um, from this pair. Okay. So um, without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So let's begin. I'm now, I'm currently on my trading view. Um, I'm currently on four hour time frame as you can see right here. So I'm just going to, um, firstly, what I do. So I'm just going to give you my steps. Firstly, what I would like to do is go to a high time frame. It can be a daily time frame or a four hour time frame. So firstly, on daily time frame is basically to check um, the market structure, whether we on a downtrend or we on an uptrend and what is it that I need to be looking out for. Right? Then if on daily time frame there's nothing that I can see or there's nothing convincing for me to to actually establish the market structure then I move down to for our time frame to see if, if it's clear and if it, uh, it happens to be clear on, on four hours then that's where I will start uh, uh, my analysis from my trade breakdown from so for example like with this with this um, AUD USD I went to a daily time frame to see if I will be able to tell where the structure is or how the structure is but unfortunately i couldn't see um it wasn't that clear but let me let me, let me just do this okay so if i can just start it from here so we have a higher high or rather let me just say a high and oh, sorry about that so we have a high and we have a low here we have a lower high we have a lower low we have a lower high, we have a lower low, and also we have a higher high. Why is a higher high? Is because this high is higher than the previous high, right? So meaning that we see this as a change of character to the upside, right? So as we can see, the price has been making lower highs, lower highs until it made a higher high, and it went again to make a higher low so meaning that we are expecting price to push up to make another higher high so this is what ha what is happening on a daily time frame and i'm not that convinced because according to what i see is that this pair has been on or had been on a, a downtrend for a while now so this might be a, a reversal or change of, of, of trend we will we don't know but for me, it's not as clear as it is on for our time frame. So I'm just going to delete everything and let's move to for our time frame and show you exactly what I'm talking about on for our time frame. You will also see for yourself how clear you also see for yourself how clear it is on a day on for our time frame, so that you can be able to trade from there. So because the only daily time frame to be honest i i'm not sure what is what's going on but like i said it looks like it was an advantage and now it just introduced a reversal or a change of 
10, but then we, we are not so 100% sure until we see something of this nature. Remember, if this now is a lower low and this is a lower high, this is a lower low, and we were expecting a lower low instead, price pushed further, price pushed further up, right? It pushed further up and it passed, it broke this previous lower high, right? So it indicates to us that the trend is now changing, right? But we cannot uh, uh, um, just go on to say the trend is, has now changed, so what we are looking for now is for, uh, for buys. No, what we, ha what we need to see happening before we can consider this a, a, a change of trend, we need to see like, this is a this is what we call a change of character. So let me just um, do this. Let me just uh, use a trend line in state. So this right here we call a change of character. So I'm just going to quickly write it here as um, change of character. So I'm just going to write chalk. We do know that chalk stands for a change of character. So. I'm just going to put it clear here so that we can all see. So it's a change of character, right? So what we need to see before we can be so certain that this is now an uptrend, we need to see price doing something like this. So you see price went up and now it went down to give us a higher low, right? And it went a bit up, it went down again. So what we need to see uh, the price doing is that we need to see price moving to the upside to break to do what we break what we call a break of structure so it has to break the structure before we can consider taking um any trades for buys here so this is basically what will happen and in order for us to take this trade let's say if it broke the structure to the upside then now we want to take a trade so we will take our is a matchy and we will put it we will do something of this nature then if whatever for the block is below 50 percent that's where we will wait for the price to come before we can execute any of our trades so like i said right now nothing is clear we are not 100 percent sure or we are not at least 90 percent sure that the trend has, has changed right so what we will do then we will move to one to for our time to see if indeed the, uh, the, 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 the trend has changed or we are still bearish. Right? So I'm just going to quickly move to for our time frame and let us see what's been happening there. So I'm just going to um, I'm just going to focus on this portion right here. Right? So I'm just going to focus on it uh, because it's a bit clear uh, okay so this is where i will start we have a high right here we have a low so we we're expecting to have a lower high so to see if it is a downtrend or an uptrend but instead what it did it broke the previous high so to give us a new higher high right so it then went down to give us a higher low right it went up again to give us a lower high right it didn't break this level to give us a new higher high like it did with this level right so then now we had what we call a change of character here right so then the price went down to this right to give us a lower low so it came back up again to give us a lower high so it now gave us a lower low right so this is what i meant about um a one hour time frame i mean about daily time frame not being clear for us to actually establish the market structure so what is what has been happening as with with everything that i've showed you right now is that we have um we have a break of structure here. So I'm just going to write it as BOS so that we know that BOS stands for break of structure. BOS, I'm just going to write it um, in small letters. So just 
to make this video quick, right? So we had a break of structure to the upside, right? And what order block was responsible to breaking this? It was this one right here. It was this one right here. This is the order block that was responsible for the break of this uh, structure here, right? So then from there, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to monitor price and see if it will break this level right here and of which price did break this level, meaning that it's a change of character. And remember, when it was breaking the structure to the upside, we were expecting a change of trend, like what we saw on 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 on, on daily time frame, right? But instead, uh, uh, price failed to come and make another higher high, so it's actually confirmed to us that we are indeed going up. But instead, what it did, it kept on plummeting. It plummeted until it broke the previous low that caused the break of structure here. I'm not sure if I'm making sense. If you if you, do, if you don't understand, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below so that we can uh, discuss it further and engage. So then, now it broke structure, but it failed to come again and break it again, so to confirm to us that we are going up. So what it did instead, it plummeted until it changed character here. So I'm just going to indicate again here that this is a chalk. This is a chalk, so it's a change of character, right? So then, what we have here is that we had a break of structure to the upside, now we have a change of character to the downside, right? So then now, we will then have to see or have to check what caused uh, uh, that change of character or before we can we can definitely say say that we are now going down we have to see a break of structure to the downside first remember we had a break of structure one first break of structure to the upside but we didn't have another break of structure to the upside confirming to us that we are now changing the, the trend to the upside right so then price kept on going down it changed character here then we can't just say we are now on a downtrend However, we need to see the price further breaking structure to the downside before we can certainly or before we can be confident that we are still going down. Right? So what I'm talking about is what you see what you saw happening here. So as you can see here, here price came and broke, uh, broke the structure rather changed character and it left a lower low, right? Price went up again to make a lower high. It came down again to break that structure. Remember, it gave us a change of character here, and then here it broke the structure, and of which is exactly what we need to see happening. All right. So this is exactly what we need to see happening. So let me just clean it up, and let me show you what I'm talking about. So it will be clear to you. You will also be able to see what I'm talking about. You'll also be able to see that one say a daily time frame wasn't as clear as for our time frame. So as you can see here, um, I'm just going to use my trend line to indicate that break of structure after the change of character that had happened there. So then I'm going to name it again um, a BOS, which is our break of structure. So um, boom, and this is how it is, right? So this is a break of structure. And from there, we see here that we have a break of structure. Remember, like I said on a daily time frame page, that when we have something of this nature, let's say price went up, went down, change of character, okay, break of structure, change of character, right? And then it went down then break of structure right so this is what we need to see happening so the price was going up it went down to change this character but it failed to come and break this structure right here instead it went and changed character here then it went down to and came back to break this structure so now we are confident that this structure is going up right we are confident that this structure is going up. However, 
we do not know where exactly we're going to execute our trade. So remember, when price is going up, it has to leave some sort of uh, a demand somewhere here. A demand can also be explained as uh, uh, order block or point of interest, right? So, but the, uh, in order for us to know which exactly uh, is the order block that is very reliable to take to take a trade from, then we need to pull our Fibonacci like this from the bottom leg to the to the upper leg or to the high from the from the low to the high. Then whatever order block that is below fifty percent, that is below fifty of the of the the natural issue then we consider that to be so reliable to take a trade from so if we see that there is an over an order block above 50 percent then we basically do not take it right so this is how i trade at least so i'm just going to uh, remove this and to remove this and let me show you right so here we have a break of structure to the upside. It failed to give us another break of structure to confirm for us that we are now going upside, upwards. And it gave us a, ch a change of character to the downside. And it also confirmed to us by breaking a structure down here. But we do not know exactly what order block we're going to use or what supply we're going to use for us to take a trade. But it looks like this is the supply that we going to need to use in order for us to take a trade for but we do not just go and take that trade let me just pull out my Fibonacci and see from from here from down here to here as you can see this order block is above 50 percent so meaning that it is the right order block to look out for or a point of interest the right point of interest right so after after noting our our point of interest on four hour time frame, then we are going to move to one hour time frame to further see if the structure on one hour confirms or it, uh, aligns with the structure on four hour time frame, right? So I'm going to go to one hour time frame to see if the structure does align with the one that we saw on a daily time frame. No, sorry, on for our time frame, right? So as we can see, we have something of this nature: high, low, lower high, uh, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower okay, higher high, lower low, lower high, right? So then. It, it clearly indicates to us that we are going down. As you can see, by the use of trend line, we can see that we are on a downtrend, right? By the use of trend line. So I'm just going to explain what happened around here. Around here, I'm just going to explain what happened. So let me just clear some of these things up so I can put it clear to you. Uh, okay. Let me just keep you. Bear with me. Let me just keep you. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. So, like I said, this is um, AUD USD that we are looking at currently. So this is the opportunity that we are fishing out for for the coming next week, which is tomorrow. From tomorrow until Friday. So we're going to look out for this pair. So then now we expect this pair to further plummet, right? So what we do on on one hour is to check if the structure on one hour aligns with the structure that we saw on four hours, right? So we saw that it does align with the four hour structure, right? Then what we need to do on four hours, what we did was to identify our point of interest, right? So here on one hour, what we're going to do is to refine it and boom, we find that on a block so that 
this supply is the supply that we're going to use, right? Uh, what is this now? Let me click here. Let me click here. Um, I think it's something from data type of this. Okay, let me put it there. Great, okay. So, um, we had a high, low, lower high, lower low. Instead of a lower high, it broke, or rather it changed a character here. Changed character. So this is basically the, almost the same thing that happened when we started somewhere here. It's almost the same thing. Not almost the same thing, it's basically the same thing. It, it just changed character or break from the structure, but then it never confirmed an up and up what uh, 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 trend, right? So here we had a change of character. However, we were expecting price to come um, down and also break the structure, right? Break the structure here in order for us to consider this an up trend, a change of trend from down trend to, to up trend, right? However, price never did that, but instead it went down and broke this structure here. So meaning that this change of character here became invalid, right? So it became invalid, so now we have a new lower low, right? So because because this this uh, uh, supply here or the, 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 the point of interest or other block that's here is the one that caused the break of this structure then we consider it to be strong right remember we had a change of character we had a break of structure so then we do not have to wait for for for, for a, a break of structure in order for us to take this trade so right now what we do what we expecting to have uh, to happen on this pair is go here and go out. So then our take profit, our first take profit will be here. So that's where I would like all of us to put our if you will be taking this uh, if you will be taking this trade. So I will use us to take our profit there if you will be taking the trade with me whenever it happens. So I'm not sure when it will play out but then as soon as it does I will make sure that I'm in the trade and I will keep you posted. So, um, in a nutshell, that's how I see it on AUD USD. So this was a trade breakdown or trade analysis for AUD USD. So this is what I'm expecting to see happen is something of this nature. All right. So this is what I'm expecting to see happening and this is where I will take my trade from. This is where I will take my trade from. Right? And I will put my stop loss just above this order block and I will put my first trade profit right there. So I'm expecting to see this level being taken down. Or Firstly, what I would like to see happening before actually taking the trade, I almost forgot, um, liquidity, right? So we need to see some sort of liquidity building up before we can take the trade. So what we need to see happening is for the price to go at least a bit down, then it has, we know that it created liquidity here, then it has to take that liquidity first to our or the block then plummet down to our target right so we have to see something of this nature before we can take a trade right and then if it doesn't happen this way it doesn't go down first to uh, create liquidity and price just shoots up into here we do not execute uh, um, at the get go we wait for the price to give us a signal move we need to know uh, that it, it is indeed going down right so we don't just naturally take trades we wait for confirmations for us to trade to take those trades right so um and that's it for me for now uh let me just make it clear and lock everything so i need to see something of this nature happening in order for this oh sorry 
in order for this trade to work out for me. So I'm just going to lock everything so that okay, this one is locked. Okay, I need to lock everything so that everything is still intact even when I come to check my trade. So yeah. So it has been your boy Letabu Mambana Disana from Disana Wealth and again I would like to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Please leave me a like button. Please leave me a like there because that's what actually YouTube likes. So it's for the YouTube algorithm and if you if maybe you have um, um, a, a different idea with regards to with regards to how I analyze this please leave, uh, leave it in the comment section down below then I will attend it um, in due time so like I said it has been your, your boy in the time of Mbana Disana from Disana World and thank you for stopping by until we meet again in the next video it's good night for me